turn on Ford Fulkerson and find a maximum labeling, a maximum matching in this POSET. This example is so small that it is very easy to see that the maximum matching size is three. Uh, now, that may not be the only maximum matching. There might be more. But that's certainly one. And I can see that because A prime, B prime, and F prime have no neighbors. And that's reflected in the poset by the fact that A, F, and B are maximal elements. So that's a maximum matching. Now, what we do with this maximum matching is we use it to assemble a chain partition. Now, how do we do that? The rule is that when you have a matching edge that connects an X prime with a Y double prime, you put those two elements consecutively in a chain. So look, look at the matching edges, D prime, A prime. That means I'm going to have D immediately under A in a chain. I, I did that in chain two. Then I look at the others. I see an E prime, C double prime. That means I'm going to have E immediately under C in a chain. And now elsewhere, I have a C prime down to F double prime. So that means I'm going to have C prime immediately under F double prime in a chain. Now, let's just observe. Look at chain two. Chain two consists of D and A. Notice that they don't form a cover in the post set, but still D is less than A. Bottom line, a matching in the bipartite graph, independent of whether or not it's maximum, forms a chain partition in the post set. All right. Let's make sure that you're with me on this detail. If I build a chain partition of my POSET and it looks like this, and I got it, and I got it from a, ma from a matching, what was the size of that matching? That's the chain partition in the post set without labels. But what was the size of the matching? No. Good guess, but no. Again, what was the size of the matching? Anybody? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are thirteen edges in the associated matching. What do matching edges do? Matching edges put two elements consecutively in a chain. That's what they do. How many consecutive pairs do I have in these chains? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 edges. Now, what I'm suggesting is that the width of this post set is at most 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the number of matching edges is not the width. 
uh, let's be clear on that. The number of matching edges is not the width. Any matching in the bipartite graph produces a chain partition. 